everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we are going to make some sequins, but we are going to make gigantic sequins or the size, any size you wish. It is so easy. And also you're gonna be able to use all your scraps. So you can do this on all kinds of paper, very few materials needed. You don't really have to buy anything because, because I'm sure you already have a lot. So for those of you who don't know what sequins are, and I know that they're beginners, so let me show you. Sequins are these little uh, metallic, they're usually metallic and you can find them normally all year long in your local craft stores. This is how they come with a little hole. Normally in the beginning they were used to be, uh, they're kind of buttons, uh, they were made to be sewed on t-shirts or sweatshirts. So I've got some, uh, a whole bunch here. So they're quite small, as you can see, these are the original sizes, but I've decided to make some bigger ones and some in the middle size. And you can do these just using your scraps. And I've used here some holographic paper. You've probably seen my previous video when I show you how you can use holographic paper. It's not that easy. Some people sometimes are scared how to use it. Well, look, and I'm just using my scraps, nothing fancy. So what you will need for this are the materials, uh, paper, holographic paper, or metallic paper, because that's gonna be more for Christmas, but it will work for any kind of paper. Some Something uh, thick, don't go and use something too thin because that is not going to work. Um, you will need punch holes. Um, Preferably here circles because that's how sequins are made with circles. You will need also, depending on the size, you will need different materials like a pencil. We're going to use this, the back of the pencil. If it's really big like this, I've just used the lid of a uh, glue stick. Even though it's round, it's going to be fine. Don't worry if it doesn't have this uh, octagon shape. You will also need a um, piece of foam. So let me show you the one I'm using. This one is quite thick and I really like it to make flowers. Uh, it's really convenient because it is thick and it's um, fluffy enough. If you don't have this kind of, uh, of board, you can use two or three layers of your fun foam and that will do the trick as well. What you will also need is just a sponge, but it's a dry sponge, not wet and you will need also uh, a needle tool like this. That's gonna be convenient because this is larger than a normal needle like this, if you know what I mean. Okay, these are too thin. You can use it if it's a very small one, but I think a bigger is better. And that's it, so let's start. So here I've already uh, punched big ones and I'm gonna go a little closer, let me put this here. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. I love this holographic paper. I'm in love with this one. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. And you see exactly the same paper and it looks different depending on where the light comes from. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love it. So, okay, you punch your circle. And because this one is a big one, I'm gonna use my glue stick lid. You're gonna put it in the middle, try to center it. Okay, if it's not perfect, it's okay. And then you can press. This is why you need something squishy underneath. Sorry, I have to put my fingers in here if I need some pressure. You gotta squeeze hard, okay? And you can see the sides coming up. That's good. It has to happen like this. And then you're gonna let go. And your sequin here is almost done. If you wanna make it more realistic, and you can use your sponge if you think it didn't go too far or far enough, it's gonna be even better. And now I'm gonna use my uh, my thin needle here. Find the center, you just eyeball it, make a hole, and there is your sequin. How is that? The same thing that this little baby. Okay, look at that. Oop. Isn't this cute? And you're gonna be making nice decorations with this. I'll find ideas to use these because you can put them on a card as well with a little button inside, why not? Or a ribbon, that would do great. So it's really simple and just using scraps. I'm gonna make another one and I've already punched, I'm gonna use these, okay? The back of it is not nice in my example. My holographic paper is just like this on the back but it's not a really big deal because 
if I glue them down, I won't really see uh, the back of it. And sometimes you can see a little bit the edges. If you have some ink pads, use your ink pads the same color and you won't see it anymore. Don't worry about that. So here I've got two smaller ones. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use my pencil. So I'm gonna take it. There it is, sorry. Pencil. I try to center it as well. Press, let go, and you have your sequin. If you want to make it more realistic, again, sponge, pokey tool, middle, poke, let go, and there you go. You have made yourself a sequin in just a second. So first, what I would recommend is punching all your circles out. Then you uh, press them down. You can make the, you can put the circle, the little thing inside first or after. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't matter. Really something nice. Um, and it goes very quickly. You can do that while you're watching your favorite movie. It doesn't need a lot of concentration to do this. Look how, uh, yeah, closer it's even better. Look, I think on white paper is better. Look at this, they are really nice. And here I've just used little flowers little flowers, stars in my scraps. Sorry, I have paint all over my hand, but I'm in Christmas right now. Look at that. Little tree, little star. I really like the flowers, and I've done the same thing. If it's really small and your, um, your pen doesn't go there, use something smaller. You can also use this. Do I have some, that's what I did for the flowers. Do I have a flat flower? I don't have a flat flower. Uh, yes, I do. There is one. I'm going to put it on my sponge. You can do it here on your foam as well. It's okay. I'm going to use one of these. can't remember the name. If you have the name, please uh, put it in the description below. That will help me. And again, you just press. Just once. You don't need to press more. Oops. Take it away. Put it in shape and there you go. And because it's not completely flat, I think it reflects even more the light. You can see it even better because it's got its little shape to it. See that? Compared to the star, I think it's got more reflection. But if you want to leave it flat, you can. It's just another way to use your scraps and to make your very own sequins. I'm totally crazy about these. They really look great. And you are going to make a whole bunch of decorations in your cards, on your cards. You can put these on a wreath, why not? You can put these on also a um, styrofoam ball. I have some ideas. I need to uh, put my ideas uh, up together and I'll show you that as well. More Christmassy uh, videos coming. Please, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And please leave me some com some comments. I love reading you and I'll always come back to you. Or if you just want to say come and... So if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. It's, it means a lot to me, really. And also um, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. And leave me some comments. I love reading you. You can ask me questions or just come and say hello. That's fine. I always answer. And also share on social medias. Thank you very much. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.